um, in part two, you're asked to calculate the average speed of the car during stage B, during this stage. All right, let's see something here. You have two different speeds. The speed change, you have a low speed of what 15 and a high speed of 40. But the average speed here would be 40 plus 15 over 2. You add them and divide by 2. So 40 and 15, that's 55 over 2. Divide this out 22 and 25 goes 2 times and 1 20 15 goes 7 and a half. So 27.5 meters per second I get here. Alright. Now let's try another way to see if we can get this. You know that speed, average speed. Is the is equal to distance over time all right so we could try and get the distance under this graph what's the distance under here I uh, see we have a rectangle and two triangle now the distance would be the area under the graph because we're looking at speed and time. If you transpose this, you will get distance is equal to speed times time. So if you multiply the speed, y-axis times time, the x-axis, we get distance. So the distance, that would be like the area of a rectangle. So the distance is really the area under this curve. Let's see the area here is what? The height is 15. The area is the height. 15 times the width is what? From 60 to 40. Let me erase part of this. So 60 minus 40, that's 20. 15 by 20. 300 meters. I see area here under the triangle we have half base the base is the same 20 half of 20 times the height of the triangle we're going from 15 to 40 the height would be 50 would be 40 minus 15 what's 40 minus 15 that's what 25 there is half of 20 by 25 half of 20 is 10 10 by 25 is what 250 250 so 250 plus 300 that's 550 meters and the average speed is distance 550 over time the time is 20 so this case you cancel down you end up with 55 over 2 again so again it's 27.5 meters per second all right so using two methods we have 27.5 meters per second as the average speed of the car during stage b